I'm wearing lip gloss right now and it's literally I don't know how I feel about this because I feel like I'm gonna get lipstick on my teeth and I feel like it's gonna fall off and be gross and be messy and it's so slippery and slidy and I don't know how people do this I don't I don't like it also look at me being all classy <laughs> I have big nails on <laughs> just feel like so like you know like fancy like look at me in my $6.99 kiss stick on nails from Target <laughs> so so fancy am I a youtuber now? hey what's up everybody it's Amaya so today's video is going to be my Ipsy versus Birchbox epic makeup battle of January 2018 we have 2018 here oh my god I'm kind of going crazy the fact that it's 2018 like, this is the year that when I was little, everyone would always be like, oh my god, when you graduate in, you know, 2018, or oh, when 2018's here, or oh, when you're 18, like, people would always talk about that when I was little, and it was kind of one of those things when you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, right, whatever, and then, like, it's actually here, and you're like, what? Like, I didn't just stay a kid forever? What? Kind of crazy, um, but I'm really, really excited. I have a feeling this is going to be a great year, so I figured let's get into it by starting off with the Ipsy and Birchbox unboxing. So now I'm going to hop back on and we are going to start doing them again. So yeah, here we go. Okay, so let's start out with Ipsy. This is what it looks like right here. Um, we have the little card inside that says, I will conquer and you have to like fill in the blank. So on the back, it gives like a little description of the box. It's very long this time, so I'm not gonna read it. Very, very cute, but we're gonna throw that. And I really just didn't think about that when I threw that, that it could go behind this big thing now. I don't have that space over there, so I can't just go back there and get it. I think it went that way though, so I think we're okay. So this is what the bag looks like for this month. It's probably one of my least favorite bags. Honestly, it just feels a little cheap to me. Um, I get where they were going with this with the whole like game on like game day sort of athletic vibe but I don't know I feel like it's bright it just looks kind of cheap I don't really like the pattern. So the first thing I see in here is the City Color Contour Palette so this is what it looks like it's a little mini one I believe the full size of this, I believe this is a sample size or like a tester size. Either way, you get three shades right here. You get like this cool tone shade, this more warm tone bronzer, and then this white shade, which looks like it might have a little bit of shimmer in it. This does not say a shade that it's in, so I don't know if this is the only shade or not, but let's just swatch these. They feel very creamy, very, very nice. There's not a lot of kick up or anything. Oh, the white one looks a little chalky. Yeah, that white one. It's very chalky. Okay, the contour one, that nice cool tone one, is very pigmented. Wow, look at that. And then here is the bronzer, also very pigmented, also very smooth. These look really pretty. However, for some reason, like, I'm looking at this shade range, and it just looks kind of unappealing to me. Like, this seems way too orange for a bronzer. I'm not going to use this white shade. It's very, like, chalky and weird. Um, and then the contour is very, very, like, cool tone, ashy gray, which is not bad. Like, swatching it on my hand, it doesn't look as, like, cool tone as it does in the pan, so maybe it would work better. But, I don't know, for some reason, like, this palette just doesn't seem very appealing to me. But now that I'm swatching everything and they're very smooth and they're very creamy, I'm definitely going to try it out. I'm not going to knock it till I try it. But for some reason, just the initial like look of this doesn't appeal to me. But we're going to give it a chance. We're going to give it a chance. 2018 is all about not judging a book by its cover. Just being better than 2017, which will be really easy to do because 2017 was so bad. So... <sighs> trying this out, moral of the story. Next we have the Oribe Gold Lust Dry Shampoo. Um, but basically, this says to shake well, spray eight to 10 inches from scalp, tousle with fingers, or brush through until product is completely absorbed and the result is clean, weightless, healthy hair. So, I've heard a lot of good things about this Oribe Dry Shampoo. It's very expensive for the full size, I know that. Like. 40, 50, 60 bucks, like really expensive, like that expensive, which is kind of crazy for a dry shampoo. But I'm excited to try this out. If you guys know the story with these bottles, if you have been here for a long time, then you know the story with these bottles. Let me roll the clip. So yeah, that's the story with these bottles. We don't really get along, me and it, but uh, let's just... Okay, 
Next we have this Dermalect Microfacial Exfoliating Mask. So this says that it is a multi-brightening complex that instantly restores dull, lackluster looking skin to luminous and radiant. So this makes me super excited because I've been super into skincare lately. I've been trying to wash my face every single night and every single morning and I'm telling you guys, if you are having skin issues, do this. You will not regret it. It's amazing. Your skin will clear up instantly. I just realized that makeup wipes really aren't enough. Even when I just want to go to bed, I use a makeup wipe and I'm like, that's good enough. I'm like, no, I need to go wash my face and then do all my moisturizers, serums, eye creams, everything. My skin has just instantly been so much better. So I've been really into using new scrubs and masks lately. And I like these scrubs that are kind of like a mask scrub. So yeah, it comes out like white like this and it's very gritty, but it's not too chunky. Um, it definitely still has that nice base to it to the point where it's not too creamy, but it also isn't too rough. So I feel like this is gonna be really nice. I'm really excited to try this out. It feels really great. Okay, next we have a full size of the NYX um, Lingerie Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Satin Ribbon. I actually bought one of these a long time ago, like a year ago, and it was a brown shade and it was absolutely awful. I don't even know if I still have it. I think it went bad actually. I never wore it. It was streaky. It was gross. But so many people love these and they love certain shades. So I don't know. I want to see how this one is because people that love them say they're like the best liquid lipstick ever and people that hate them say they're the worst liquid lipstick ever. So I don't really know. Let's just swatch this one right. Ooh, that's pretty. Kind of has like a paint smell doesn't smell like sweet or anything like that. And that's what it looks like right there. That is a beautiful nude beige, peachy, just gorgeous color. That is like the perfect nude for me, to be totally honest. These have kind of like a long doe foot applicator, kind of flat, kind of skinny. I feel like that would be good for getting around your lips. Feels almost kind of moussey. I don't know, I'm really excited to try this out because the other one that I got was like watery and streaky and gross, but this one looks so nice. And then last but not least, we have this Dirty Little Secret eyeshadow in the shade Sangria. Um, I've gotten Dirty Little Secret products before and I've really liked most of them. So I'm kind of excited to see this again. Comes in a little compact like this. This is what it looks like. It's a little bit bigger than like a typical eyeshadow size, so it seems. It's this beautiful like wine berry sangria color. Literally sangria is such a good name for it. Oh, it feels really beautiful, really creamy. Let's see, where can I swatch this? I'll swatch it right here. Oh, that is so beautiful. Do you guys see that? <gasps> that is a gorgeous color. I never wear colors like this on my eyes like a shimmer, but this eyeshadow might change my mind because that looks gorgeous. So that is it for Ipsy this month. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to have to give it... I'm gonna have to give it a nine because honestly, I'm so excited to try everything in here. Even though the contour palette and the dry shampoo aren't necessarily my favorite items, I'm still really excited to try them and they're not bad products um, that I know of. So I'm really, really excited to try them and I love that we got a full size NYX liquid lipstick and this is like pretty big even if it is a sample size and the eyeshadow is definitely full size. So I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, moving on to Birchbox. This is the box for this month. It's kind of pretty, it's like abstract with these lines and these pastel colors. I like it, I think it's cute. I think it's very different. This is the card right here. This says everything that you got and the prices of it. And this says, after a whirlwind holiday season, carve out some me time with this box of beauty treats. Find your happy. So I think that's kind of cute. It's supposed to be like a relaxing, um, working on yourself sort of thing, which I like. Okay, the first thing I see in here is this 12 Benefits Ocean Hair. This says that it is a leave-in mist for natural texture. Um, it's a beach-inspired leave-in mist that works over time by adding volume, moisture, defined waves, and protection, all in a few spritzes. So products like these I hardly ever use because I have very straight hair, as you guys know. So wavy, beachy sort of texturizing sprays or lotions just never work on me because I have straight hair. And Birchbox knows this, and yet they feel the need to send me curly hair products all the time, which is really annoying. However, mmm, smells really good. Oh, damp or dry hair. Okay, that's good. I can use it when I curl my hair um, regularly, but on damp hair doesn't really do anything because my hair's straight. But cute product. I think it's a good sample size too. I feel like you get enough product in here where you can really use it. Um, so I like that. 
Next I have this The Beauty Crop um, eyeshadow trio in Love You So Latte. That's kind of a cute name. I like that name. The full size of this is $29.99. I don't feel like this is a full size. I feel like that would be kind of ridiculous for 30 bucks. I don't know though. Um, this is what it looks like. It says, um, it's a Java inspired espresso yourself eyeshadow palette. That's cute. Um, for creating subtle or smoky looks easy. It has coffee extract in the formula, which helps reduce puffiness on lids. What? Does it smell like coffee? No, it doesn't. Okay, that's kind of disappointing. Okay, so these are the shades. They're not crazy, but they're not bad either. So I'll swatch them. There's the brown shade. There's the gold shade. And there's the other matte brown shade. So, I mean, they're not like amazing, but they're not bad. They're just kind of average, I would say. They're really pretty colors, and I feel like for someone who just wants a really simple, easy, do-it-and-go sort of eye trio, this is really cute. Next, this was a sample choice item. Um, it is the Arrow Boost Color Enhancing Lip Balm. It's in the shade Berry Busy, so this is a full size, and it's $14, which I think is kind of ridiculous for a lip balm. This is what it looks like. I did not know it was gonna be like this purple shade. It doesn't really smell like anything. It swatches like a light, like you, I don't, you, I don't even think you guys can see that. It's like a light berry pink. Doesn't swatch like this color, which is good. I would be kind of scared. No, it's like a nice, nice light um, berry pink. Oh, I just rubbed eyeshadow all over that. Feels nice. It says that it's just supposed to be an ultra hydrating formula that magically adjusts to your lips pH to create a flattering deep pink hue that's unique to you. Okay, so it's like one of those like color changing sort of things. I appreciate that it's this color and not like green like the frog prince lipstick um but yeah as you can see it's kind of turned into like a nice berry shade um as it's warmed up to my skin really pretty um i'm interested to try this i never really use lip balms or anything because a lot of them don't work for me but this has super cute packaging so <laughs> it makes me want to try it even more next i have a perfume this is the tokyo milk light Awaken Within. It says it's a citrusy fragrance that makes orange blossom and neroli with a hint of jasmine, which makes for a bright, beautiful scent. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, it smells like flowers. It's too floral for me. I'm not a jasmine person. I don't really like the smell of jasmine. Some people do. I am not one of those people. Oh no, it smells too, too floral for me. Uh -uh. I don't like you. Mm. And lastly, we have this Bioderma, um, what is this? Sebium? Sebium? Pore refiner? I don't know how to say that. Um, but it is an ultra light fluid that combats shine and minimizes the appearance of pores. So you apply it to oily areas after cleansing, which is kind of funny because I have dry skin. <laughs> but um, maybe this will be good for my sister. She actually has very oily, acne prone skin. It smells really good. It smells like very fresh and clean. This is cute, but Birchbox, I have dry skin and it says that in my profile. So why don't you send me oily skin stuff? I don't understand! So that is it for Birchbox this month. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm gonna have to give this a 7. I'm sorry, but really, what in here did I like? I like this lip balm, okay? This was kind of cute, but not amazing. I can't really use this too much. Don't like the perfume. Can't really use this oily skin thing. So, why Birchbox? Why? Why do you play me like this? You're so good. You have such good stuff. I love Birchbox for my skincare and they typically really do give good things, but as you guys know, Ipsy typically wins. <laughs> so sad because Birchbox, you could do so good if you just stopped sending me curly haired and oily skin products. So that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys like it. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Let me know what you got in your Ipsy and Birch boxes and if you have any opinions on these products. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye. Delicious.